I should be heading home before you rush. Whoa, wait. Are you sure it's going to be a good night, Bob? <clears throat> I'm sure. Son, am I going to see you at home tonight? Uh, maybe. You know, things could get crazy busy here, so I'll probably just crash in the back. Yeah. What? You and Portia are never going to fix things if you refuse to be in the same room. Hey. Hey, T. You OK? Boy, you look like you just lost your best friend. What if I have? What's going on? I can't stay long. Molly's out with her mom and sisters. She says she's going to end up here, so. So that means you have to go? I just don't want to be in the way. Since when have you been in Molly's way? Something happened? I'm sorry, man. That's rough. Look, I know you and Molly, and you'll figure it out. This time, I'm not so sure. OK, all right, come on. Lay it on us. Lay it on us. Remember how I told you that Molly and I were trying to have a baby? Yeah, yeah, that's not something you easily forget. I'm sorry I hadn't checked in since I got back from Greenland. Don't worry about it. I've been busy, too. And honestly, I haven't really talked to anyone about it much because we barely had the chance to start trying when we found out that, that Molly can't get pregnant. TJ, I am so sorry. Yeah, me too, man. I can't imagine how hard it is for both. It's clearly worse for Molly. She feels like her body has betrayed her, and I get that. Or I'm, I'm, I'm really, really trying, but it's like now, where we need to lean on each other the most? She keeps shutting you up. It scares the hell out of me, uncle. Molly and I cannot go on like this. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's not that Molly is shutting you out. She might just need time to process. And I get that. It's a big blow. Being told your future isn't going to look the way you thought it would, but it doesn't mean it can't be beautiful. And incredible. And fulfilling. See, I told Molly that. That we can still start a family, that we have options. She just might not be ready to hear that right now. But she will be. I think the hardest part is that she is not acting like herself. And what way? She passed off one of her big cases to a colleague. And then this morning, she decided she didn't want to go to work, so she called out. T, people do that. People do, not Molly. You're both grieving, son. You're both grieving. And grief could do a number on us all. Good thing, though, it's fleeting. You know that old saying, uh, time heals all wounds. Oh, well, it's true. I would never tell Molly how to deal with her grief or when I think she should be done with it, but I'm worried that it's more than that, and ultimately, it's gonna tear us apart.